In this video, we asked seven measure experts what their number one Google Analytics tip would be for Google Analytics beginners. All the more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this channel, we do tutorials, how-to videos, and give you tips on how to become a better marketer, just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. All right, so we had a chance last week to actually attend Measure Camp, where all the Measure Geeks get together and discuss about analytics, data-driven marketing, and new technologies. And I also took my camera with me so I could ask some measure experts what they would say is the number one tip that beginners should focus on when they're just starting out in analytics or Google Analytics. And this is what they said. How to get started is um, just get started. Get involved. Um, if you're not doing it as a day job, find a friend with a business, a website. Say, can I just take over your Google Analytics? and dive into it. The best way of learning is by making some mistakes and trying to change things. That's the best way to get started. If possible, work with real client data or now that the analytics demo account is out, ah. work in with that because it's all theory, it's all concepts until you start working with real data and so you can start like uh, looking at different filtered views and segments and stuff like that if you have your own data or client data. Um, just getting in amongst it because if you're just reading or watching tutorials as good as certain ones are, like the Google Analytics um, Academy type ones are, uh, it, it doesn't really mean, I never thought it really meant anything until you actually start playing with the data. And I have a, maybe at the same level as well, get involved in the technical implementation as well. I never really understood how the data was aggregated and what it all meant and how hits were strung together until I started playing around with Tag Manager and and stuff like that, then it starts to make more sense as well. One thing that's come, we've come across lately with smaller businesses and individuals with small websites is like they struggle to, to find insights and, and know where to look, uh, to take action on things that are going on on their website. Um, now Google's launched this app called um, Google Assistant and basically this is using like machine learning and stuff um, and this basically surfaces insights for them and it's like an app, it's available on Android and iOS and you can get this and it will like literally um, show you in the last weeks or the last month what the key things that have happened on your site are and it will even give you recommendations on what to do next. Like for example, um, you know, you have some uh, organic search pages that are getting a lot of traffic but they're not really converting very well. It will show you what pages they are um, and allow you then to look at your you know, conversion rate optimization and put some call to action on there and stuff and increase your conversions. Yeah, so we just uh, launched the new Analytics Academy courses. So I would say go ahead and dive in to Google Analytics for Beginners. Specifically, play out with play with the uh, demo account. We have a demo account for the Google Merchandise Store. Um, it's a full setup of Google Analytics on an e-commerce site, and it's a great way to dive in and start to like get your hands dirty and actually learn analytics by doing. Okay, uh, so I would say, um, I mean, for myself. Um, answering questions on the user community has been a really good way of uh, learning and upskilling quickly uh, and uh, it's quite fulfilling as well like because um, you can solve other people's problems and figure out stuff yourself by doing so so that's my like number one tip uh, and uh, also I was gonna give away a cheat sheet um, which was uh, bit.ly forward slash um, measure school cheat sheet which is a bunch of uh, Google Sheets and some techniques uh, there was six um, Google Sheets for automating some processes in analytics so like uh, validating a Google Analytics account automatically pulling uh, the information uh, from an existing setup and also some process tips for uh, uh, improving data quality. So I've, I've put all that together and then that's that's in there. Um, well, maybe just do the online courses. I think that's always a good thing. Uh, Google had, Google has some pretty decent, their Analytics Academy is very good. Uh, Measure Screw, of course. Uh, there's lots of written material online for, for Google Analytics. I think the first thing you still need to kind of figure out is what kind of an analytics user are you? Are you are you a tech tech user? Or do you want to do the kind of? Are you more interested in implementation? Are you more interested in the analytics itself? Are you more interested in marketing? And kind of find your field because there's so many things you can do with GA that it can be kind of overwhelming at first. So um, there's lots of different ways to approach it. 
So I'm a really big fan of starting with the business, not the tool. Um, have really well codified understandings of what success looks like, not just in terms of conversions, but for every type of user and every type of intent. And start to think really granularly about if this type of user comes from this type of channel to this type of content, what does success look like? And then start to look at things like event tracking and conversions to understand whether those are being successful. And build up from the ground up, starting with trying to understand where's the intercept between what the consumer wants to achieve and what my business wants to achieve. And then configure the tool to measure that. Don't start with a tool because then you collect a whole load of data that you don't know what you're doing with. So there you have it. This is what the measurement geeks say, what you should be focusing on as a beginner in the analytics field. So what do you think? Is there anything that's missing? Then I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It will bring you more videos every week. My name is Julian. Till next time.